Welcome back to English Classes Online. My name is Benjamin. In today's video, we are going to look at JAMB 2022, how to score high in the use of English. Our spotlight will be on how to adequately prepare for your JAMB exam. If you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe to the channel by clicking on the subscribe button below. Click on the bell icon as well so that whenever a new video goes live on this channel, you will be notified instantly. Let's dive into the lesson right away. Let's start by looking at the agenda for today's episode. We are going to begin with the preparation. That's number one. Number two, three essential tools for preparation. A a JAM 2022 syllabus, B, a correct JAM subject com combination, and C, JAM past questions. These are three essential tools and we shall look at them one by one. Number three, studying for the exam. Number four, an overview of the JAM English language syllabus, all right? Now let's start with number one, Preparation equals getting ready. To prepare is to make yourself ready for something that you'll be doing or something that you expect to happen. And of course, if you are preparing for the JAMB exam, is something important that you need to adequately prepare for. To score high in the JAMB exam, you need to prepare by learning the essential areas and mastering them through study and practice. This is very important. Now, number two, three essential tools for your preparation. A, a JAM 2022 syllabus. This is very important. One tool that shows you the essential areas for your preparation is the JAM syllabus. The syllabus contains the topics from which questions will be set in the UTME, that is the JAM examination. This is why JAM usually releases a syllabus via our website prior to each examination. So it's important you take time to visit the JAM website and take a look at the 2022 uh, syllabus, all right? Very important. Unfortunately, most JAM candidates hardly look into the syllabus, much less using it as a guide for their preparation. But in this video, I am encouraging you to actually take a look at the 2022 JAMP syllabus and use it as a guide for your preparation. Now, B, a correct JAMP subject combination, this ought to be done before your registration. To pass the JAMP exam and secure an admission into, it, into a tertiary institution of your choice, you need to get the correct subject combination of the course you intend to study at that institution. All right, so if you are going to study law or engineering, uh, mechanical engineering, electric, electrical engineering, uh, linguistic, linguistics, whatever course of study, excuse me, whatever course of study you are going to embark upon, there is a subject combination that will actually uh, take you into that course. So to make it easy for candidates, JAM usually publishes the correct subject combination for all courses in Nigerian academic institutions. So make sure you pick the correct subject combination as starting point for your preparation. Now see, another tool you need for preparing for your JAM exam is the JAM past questions, all right? Once you have got your subject uh, combination, then you need to check the JAM past questions for each subject, all right? And use them as the guide, you know, uh, you, you, they, of course there are, you know, past questions compilation guides that can always help you in each subject. Now the JAM past questions will help you to know 
the actual types of questions usually set in the exam. The jam syllabus shows you the topics from which questions are usually set. However, the past questions show you the actual questions set in the previous exams, thereby giving you insight into the likely questions in the upcoming exam. Past exam questions are a very powerful tool for your preparation. They offer you the opportunity to practice answering exam questions and practice, they say, makes perfect, right? Now, I, I have uploaded a number of videos that, you know, have given you step-by-step -step explanation, I mean, of how to answer past questions on various aspects of, you know, the use of English. You know, how to answer comprehension questions, how to answer uh, questions on the oral forms, how to answer lexis and structure questions. All these are uploaded, various videos. And I'm going to uh, leave a link in the description box, uh, links to these various uh, videos so that you can, uh, click, uh, you can click on each and use uh, that as a help, you know, something that will guide you because it, it, the, these videos show you step-by-step step and practically how to answer past questions, you know, using exact real past questions as illustration, all right? So I'm going to leave the links in the description box for you to be able to access these videos. Number three, studying for the exam. In studying for the exam, you need to focus on the topics where questions will be set. Focusing on those relevant topics will help you to avoid wasting time on irrelevancies. The syllables and past questions are the tools you need. The jam syllabus shows you the topics from which questions are usually set. However, the past questions show you the actual questions set in previous exams thereby giving you insight into likely questions in the upcoming exam. These are very powerful tools that you need while studying for the exam. Now, an overview of the JAM English language syllabus, all right? The syllabus consists of two sections, section A, comprehension slash summary, and section B, Lexis, structure, and oral forms. Now, once you capture this three major, uh, these two major areas, then you are you will be adequately prepared for your jam use of English exam. Now, let's take a look a, a look at an overview of jam English questions. All right. Uh, so, as already shown in the syllabus, so in section A. You have comprehension slash summary. A, you have, uh, of course, a comprehension, uh, three comprehension passages in some cases, all right? 15 questions in all, three marks each. That gives you for five marks. Then B, you have one closed passage, 10 questions in all, two marks each. That gives you 20 marks. Then in section B, you have lexis structure and oral forms. A will be sentence interpretation. Uh, of course, uh, as I earlier mentioned, if you are looking at comprehension passages, in the description box, you will find uh, videos I have uploaded that shows you, you know, clear answers to past questions and gives you clear explanation of how to answer Com uh, jam comprehension questions, all right? Uh, that you will find that very useful if you actually click on the link and access the video. And then talking about sentence interpretation, I have also uploaded a video on how to answer questions on jam uh, sentence interpretation, how to answer uh, sentence interpretation questions in jam in use of English. So. That video will take care of how to answer questions on uh, sentence interpretation. 
giving you the literary devices, the tools that you will use to, you know, figure out the, uh, the meanings of specific sentences. Then B will be antonyms, all right? Antonyms, and uh, that is what's opposite the meaning. Uh, it carries, 50, uh, the, you have 15 questions in all, one mark each, and that is 15 marks. Then C, you have synonyms, the same words that are the same or similar in meaning or nearest in meaning, if you like. Again, you have 15 questions in all, one mark each, giving you 15 marks. And then D, you have sentence completion, filling the gaps. And you have 20 questions in all, uh, one mark each, that gives you 20 marks. Then E, you have oral forms, 15 questions in all, one mark each, 15 marks. So you, I have videos in all these, all right? I am going to insert the links to all the videos in the description section. So all you need to do, you have all the past questions and answers, you know, in audiovisual forms. The videos are right here on this channel and in fact, this will help you to adequately prepare for your 2022 JAM uh, use of English exam. Uh, most of uh, the students that have actually used this channel to prepare for their JAM exams, they came out with flying colors. And uh, the same applies to all the, the JAM candidates that I, I coached earlier personally. The, in fact, the, some of them say that the, by getting almost all the questions, you know, correctly in the English section, it actually gave, it, it, it enabled them to score high in the overall exam, all right? So it, it, the, the, the scientific approach to answering questions, the, you know, linguistics is my field of study. And linguistics is the scientific study of language. So I have the linguistic tools. And if you pay attention to, you know, all the explanations in the various videos I've uploaded, you will be prepared 100%, if not more, prepared for your 2022 JAM use of English. And that will give you a big boost in the overall JAM exam. All right, so this is where we are going to draw the curtain in today's video. We have been looking at JAM 2022, how to score high in the use of English. And we have looked at how to adequately prepare for this year's JAM exam. Even though you have just a, a short time, by using these techniques, these top tips that I've given you, you will be adequately prepared, even within a very short time, all right? And by consulting the, very, the various videos I've uploaded on this channel, you will be adequately prepared. And that is a guarantee that you are going to score high in the JAM use of English for 2022. So I wish you a good success. And if you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please leave them in the comments section below. Uh, there are other things that will be of help to you in all your English exams. You know, you can visit our website on www.englishclassesonline.com.ng. That will give you access to various resources, a lot of resources that will help you uh, in your quest for gaining proficiency in the use of English. Right here, in the description section below, I have a link to my ebook titled Good Success in English. Uh, if you are interested in that ebook, which is a complete study package for effective English learning, you simply click on the link and you'll be able to grab a copy of your own, uh, your own copy of the book. I have a free uh, PDF ebook for you they are in the description box as well. Uh, and that gives you detailed explanation of the basic units of English grammar. If you are interested in that free PDF 
uh, ebook uh, you just click on the link and download your own copy free of charge i want to say a big thank you to all of you for being part of uh, today's episode i look forward to seeing you in the next video bye bye for now and remain blessed many thanks for watching today's video a big thank you to all of you out there for being part of today's episode i hope you enjoyed the video if you did kindly subscribe to this channel subscribe now as a way of giving us support for notification about new videos click on the bell icon you will find the bell icon click on it so that whenever a new video is uploaded you will be instantly notified if you have actually enjoyed the video like and share the video with your friends and relatives this is very important if you have any comments leave your comments below any questions any suggestions we would gladly receive them and respond promptly and positively to them see you in the next video i look forward to always seeing you in the new video thank you